World War II and the changes in U.S. coinage significant, as well as the Treasury. They made some special paper money, the war years as well. But the very first one wasn't the steel cent in 1943. It was the silver nickel in 1942. And have we got a crazy opportunity for you tonight. Now, the war nickel, or the silver war nickel, as most people refer to it, yes, a nickel made in silver, first started in 1942. There was a P and an S. And then from 43, 44, and 45, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco all struck silver nickels. The valuable material at that time, because of the war, was nickel itself, which was used heavily for munitions and others. So the extent of this is there were 11 silver nickels made by the U.S. Mint during this time frame. 11. And tonight, our crazy deal is this, but only for a few. $49.95 for an individual coin. If you buy three, we'll get you a mint mark collection, a P, a D, and an S. But tonight, if you buy 11, that's why you're seeing 11 on your screen, we can actually get you the complete collection at only $49.95 a coin. That's the huge, not big, huge, oh my. So for this time period, 1942 through 1945, they did strike those 11 coins across the board in that silver material. What they did was add a mint mark on the reverse. So we're going to show you a Philadelphia, a Denver, and a San Francisco. Above the Monticello Dome, they added a mint mark there. The first time ever you see a P mint mark on, the, on a nickel like that. And it's On the U.S. coin period right on, there. Yeah, and it's, it's giant. You can't miss it. They wanted everyone to know that these were different and they... They succeeded in that. So these, every one of these has the mint mark on the reverse. There's a San Francisco, $49.95 each. These are high grade 66s. Steve just referenced, buy three, you'll get a mint mark set, Philadelphia, Denver, San Francisco. Buy 11, you get 11, all 11 across the board, every one that was issued in high grade 66. Now, just to give you an idea, we always talk about population reports with something that is certified because the numbers are just so very, very tiny. All in all, let's just start with the bang. There's only 3,333 sets known to exist. You can only put 3,333 sets together because the lowest common denominator is that 1945P of only 3,333 in grade 66 or better. Can't make up that number. When I saw that this morning as well, it's like, really? Now, I knew they were all four or 5,000 coins each. And part of it is because they were silver. So people hoarded the coin. So the idea, which is why the mintages are high. But on the other hand, think about it. This is a coin that's almost 100 years old, right? Easily over three quarters of a century and was used during the war years. And then because silver, the value of silver was set aside, these wore horribly. So again, the U.S. Mint did, want, did not want them out in circulation, and as they came in after the war was over, they, they were melted them. and destroyed yeah. by them as well. So finding original rolls, which is the only place an unk exists today, and then finding it in this quality. Again, we know one thing. Uniqueness stories are the entrance to any great collectible, right? But then it comes down to how many versus how few. Mintage figures are high, how few? Well, all of these are how few. And even the highest population is still uh, significantly, un significantly under 10,000. You're looking at the 1943 Denver at only 8,240. So all the other dates in between, uh, 1945 D, 5,800. 1944 P, 3,552. Uh, all under that 8,240, in fact, you know, the next one lower is only 6,137. That's 1943 S. And again, mintage figures, you're looking at 90 million, uh, 390 million, 172 million, 215 million for each one of those years across the board. So the mintage figures are high, but the populations are low, and that's when it's time this to This is in. the first time we've been able to offer this collection in this manner in five years. That is how long it has been since we've been able to put together sixes. Now, in the past, we've offered the uniqueness of the silver war nickels. 
get one for $49.95. With our competition selling regular coins in uncirculated condition at this price or higher, we're selling you some of the finest known specimens on the planet. Where again, there's less than 3,333 known. But tonight, the special deal is this. Buy a coin, you'll get a random war nickel in 66. Oh my. Very special. Very special yep. in its own right. It's a unique special collectible that most didn't even know existed. Then if you buy three, we'll get you a mint mark collection, we guarantee it. A P, a D, and an S. And we'll guarantee the D will be a 43D, the first Denver made. Okay? So it's a great, great coin. But tonight, just because of the accumulation process, over the years we've been doing this, we can make it available, the complete collection, which is what you see on your screen right now. You buy 11, we'll get you all 11 in 66 gray, which means all of those special rarities, which are technically all of them, are available at only $49.95 each. It's just one special collection. To join us online at as well, the website's avccoins.com. All you have to do is enter that item number, which is 9051022, into the search bar. Again, a purchase of one of that item number is going to get you one of these coins. Three will get you a mint mark set, Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco. And of course, the best bet is that 11 quantity purchase to get one of every single one, the entire run of War Nichols ever made. Never made again. Again, we found two of our competitors with war nickels in uncirculated condition sets. But they were just coins and capsules and or in a, the special capital plastics holders, which are beautiful presentations, by the way. We sold out last week at $179. They're at $529 on the one part, and they were as high as $599 for just an uncirculated set. Tonight here, we have one of the finest known collections possible. So if you are able to and you want to jump in on one of the greatest secrets in U.S. coin collecting, it's the silver nickels in 66. How few of them are known? They publish the information. Everybody should see it, but again, because there are so few, we bypass it for, well, differences. I mean, think about it. The S enhanced reverse proof, Allison, is the story made, of... Right? Only the day. 30000 made. It sells for about $2,500 in just raw, just the coin. And in high grade, $69.70, you're looking at $3,000 to $4,000. And there's 10000 of them known to exist. So again, that's a modern issue coin, a big silver dollar. And because of the rarity of only 30000 known, it's valuable today. And I have one. It's a great coin. I know many of you probably do as well. Can't not have it. Love the Silver Eagle series. So this is the only silver nickel series in U.S. history. Guys, got to put that clock up for me, please. Let's start with a minute. For 11-piece sets, we're down to only four sets are left available. For people that want to buy 11, which means you'll get the complete set. All right? But as I was referencing, again, only one time in U.S. history did they make silver nickels. It wasn't for the 2004 anniversary of the Jefferson expansion, which was the concept of moving west, the westward nickel program, right? And the Louisiana Purchase, it was for the war years. It was for an emergency. We need nickel, we're gonna give you silver instead. We did it for 11 coins. These are all 11, and the bottom line is this, ours are 66s, and there are so few of them known, and tonight we can actually offer that if you buy 11 coins. That's a four year run. 1942 is just Philadelphia and San Francisco. The other three years, you have a PD and an S for each one of those years. That's why it comes to 11. Buy one, 49.95 each. Buy three, you're gonna get a mint mark set, PD and S. 11 quantity purchase gets you all 11. You gotta join us. It's that special. It is that special.